This is exercise 3821A, extruding a 3D solid face. This is the first of several exercises involving the solid edit command. The solid edit command, you'll note, has all of these options. This, these are all parts of the solid edit command. It is a tedious and often disturbing command. There are often other ways of doing things and we will see those as we go. We're in the SE box drawing file in the steps less than 38 folder and our wireframe visual style has been set current. To begin we can enter the solid edit command and go through the series of options to get to the extrude option or we can go to the solid edit flyout on the toolbar and select extrude faces. That actually, if you look on your command line, it actually answers all those questions and gets you to the right uh, level of your solid edit command. Select the face that you want to extrude. From here it's really pretty simple. You hit enter, give it a height, give it a taper angle, enter, and enter again to complete the command. So there's really not much to it except for the tediousness of the command. Let's undo that. You can do the same thing using the simple extrude command. Hold down the control key to select the face. Enter. Tell AutoCAD your taper angle and the height of your taper. You have essentially the same thing except you'll notice that my taper is actually a different object. If I want to do it this way, then I need to use the union command to join the two pieces together. Now, of course, we have the one object. Okay, save your drawing. We'll move on to something else.